Hi guys. Today we will analyze Selenese stock and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical analysis. The stock has been a bad performer in the overall market. The long-term trend is still negative, but the short-term trend is neutral. It is advised to wait a little bit longer to see how this turns out. Strong support levels are around $109.96. Next strong support level is around $84. Strong resistance levels are around $123 and $134. Next strong resistance levels are around $150, $160 and $170. In the last month the stock has been trading between $109 and $123 range. It is currently trading in the middle of this range. It may be a good idea to wait for a pullback before considering an entry. The stock has an average volume of 1.2 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. The stock has been in a downward trend since January 2022. Be careful. Intrinsic value. Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5-year average P.E. ratio and expected growth rate. First model, discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 12% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 20% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 81% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Selenese company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Selenese will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, minus 2%. Future profit margin would be low, 14%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 50%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $52. Second scenario. Selenese will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 0%. Future profit margin would be average. 16%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 65%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $81. Third scenario. Selenese will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 2%. Future profit margin would be high, 18%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high. 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $119. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 18.1. Minimum rate of return. I will use 10%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Selenese, analysts forecast growth rate around 3% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 6. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for Selenese company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Selenese will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low minus 2%. Future P.E. would be low, 6. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $38. Second scenario. 
Selenese will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 0%. Future PE would be average, 8. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $61. Third scenario. Selenese will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 2%. Future PE would be high, 10. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $92. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $116, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. While the company has a good profitability rating, there are some minor concerns on its financial health. Also, the stock is expected to show a small growth in revenue in the next 5 years, 3% yearly. Based on that, the stock looks overpriced at the moment. The stock has been in a downward trend since January 2022, and the stock can go lower, before it recovers. I may consider buying the stock, when the stock drops below $105. Company Strengths Selenese Corporation is an American technology and specialty materials company. It's the world's leading producer of acetic acid, producing about 1.95 million tones per year, representing approximately 25% of global production. Selenese is also the world's largest producer of high-performance engineered polymers. Selenese operates 25 production plants and 6 research centers in 11 countries. Selenese built out its core acetic acid production facilities at a significantly lower capital cost per ton, than its competitors, thanks to the scale of its facilities. Selenese should benefit from producing an increasing proportion of its acetic acid in the U.S. to take advantage of low-cost natural gas. The company is profitable, low-risk, has growth potential, and has a robust R&D necessary for the chemical and material sciences business. Selenese continues to expand its business with two recent high-profile acquisitions from well-known competitors in plastics, and polymer manufacturing. Selenese offers consistent and growing dividends to investors. Payouts and yields have increased over the last five years. The current dividend yield is 2.34% yearly. The company's return on assets of 15%, return on equity of 40% and profit margin of 20% are amongst the best returns of the industry. Risks Selenese faces risk in all of its segments. Engineered materials volume is sensitive to macroeconomic issues, as the segment supports consumer discretionary end markets. The acetyl chain segment is exposed to cyclicality. In its specialty and commodity chemicals operations, Selenese faces higher feedstock and energy costs, due to globally higher prices of natural gas. Selenese's acetyl chain business will face long-term margin pressure from a more narrow spread, between Brent oil and U.S. natural gas. Analysts anticipate a further decline in global cigarette consumption over time, which negatively impacts the company's acetate toe segment. A prolonged decline in global auto production, could weigh on the company's revenue and profits. The company would also be affected by decreases in global coatings volume growth. The acquisitions made to expand the engineered materials business, could destroy value for shareholders, if synergies fail to materialize. As a chemicals company, Selenese faces some risks related to its carbon emissions and the environmental impact of its products. The company has a high debt level due to the latest acquisitions, especially mobility and materials from DuPont. Based on estimates for the next five years, the company will show a very small growth in revenue. The revenue will grow by 3% on average per year. The earnings per share is expected to grow by half a percent on average over the next five years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.